Okay. How are we doing? So I was waiting to see. I have another. Um, Edwina's supposed to jump on tonight. Oh, I was just getting ready to talk about you. I see you now. Okay. <clears throat> All right. It is 7.31. Edwina, you're there. Let me... I am. I'm trying to figure out how to turn on my video. Uh, well, you got the mute part. Hold on, I have to text Marcus, who's upstairs, and tell him to turn the TV down or off. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Um, you are on mute, so I didn't hear you. Oh, okay. You can leave me on mute. I, I didn't put you on mute. You put yourself on mute. Can you turn off? You heard me, so you, I'm not on mute anymore, right? Now you're not on mute. Who's on first? <laughs> Now you're not on mute. I, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm always on first. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So I am recording tonight. Um, I recorded the last couple of times just for the parents that can't make it. Um, it's just a better, better to just hear it than for me to kind of send my notes. So. The meeting is being recorded. We're putting most of the phones on mute just for because of the background. You can hear the background. So uh, let's see, going through, going through, going through. All right, I think we're good. A couple people <laughs> jumping on. So I'll wait about 20 or 30 seconds. A couple people needed the link again. So um, give them a few seconds or so. We don't see faces today, guys. No faces. You know, we gotta take our picture. So we need faces, guys. Just a little bit. No. Okay. I'll just take a picture of the people with faces. Yeah, jeez. There we go. There's another face. No oh, wait. All right. Okay. Get my notes. So, thank you parents, happy Sunday. We made it to another Sunday. Um, hope everybody had a good week and you're having a good weekend so far. Um, you know, in the right middle here. of, hold on, let me, there you go, Kenny. <laughs> in the midst of everything that's going on, you know, I just want to provide consistency and an outlet mm -hmm. for basketball. So that's mm -hmm. kind of my focus and, uh, so anyway, so, so we have a few updates and announcements. Um, so the agenda was, I sent it out today, tournaments and teams. Uh, we got some feedback from the virtual tournament this past weekend, then um, return to play updates and summer opportunities. <clears throat> and the announcements kind of go hand in hand with the, with the summer opportunities. So I'll stick with the agenda just for the sake of time. But obviously, if there's questions or um, something comes up, I'm happy to answer, no problem. So we have a dream on the call as well. Um, if you haven't met her before, she's, um, she, she and I started Magic way back 14 years ago. So um, helps more on the, the business side of it. She, you know, her background and she's an attorney. Um, so she thinks she's right all the time. That's another story. Anyway, so <laughs> she helps with the business side of it and does coaching, et cetera. So, but um, she's, uh, she's on the call tonight. So uh, we are tag teaming tonight. Uh, so uh, we got some feedback, or let me just back up. So tournaments and teams. So the tournaments, the national tournaments that we play in under the USJN, they have announced their schedule and have confirmed their schedule and magic teams that were scheduled to play in those tournaments will be going. They're playing in states that should be in phase five by then. So we're going to Indiana. Um, we're going to Maryland late, late July and then Milwaukee 
late July as well. So we are planning to go as scheduled and, you know, as things progress, obviously we, we make decisions accordingly, but um, the national schedule is confirmed and, and we're, we're gearing to go. So the local tournaments, that's the USJN tournaments and the other local tournaments, they just made an announcement two, two hours ago and they're actually moving the Oregon tournament that was scheduled early in June. Oh, no, no, yeah, early in June. Actually moving it to uh, Idaho. So, so we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what that, um, I haven't had a chance to circle back with them to see what the July schedule looks like. Um, but, you know, obviously um, Portland or Idaho is a big difference. <clears throat> so, um, uh, once I meet with them and kind of figure out what they're doing, if they're adding anything later, et cetera, we'll, we'll figure some things out. No local tournaments in, in Washington. They haven't made any announcement as to the schedule yet. I guess they're still waiting to see how things open up, et cetera. So that's the update for national. That's the update for local. Um, oh, so this weekend, this past weekend, we had a virtual tournament. It was free for Magic players. Handful of our players attended, um, seemed to have a good experience. Obviously, it doesn't replace playing in a tournament, but um, the feedback was it, it was it was pretty good. It was pretty good. That's kind of the consensus. It wasn't exciting, exciting. Um, definitely different feel. You know, it's virtual. So, but, um, you know, if we, if we want to provide something, Rather than nothing, that's that's the something. So I really wanted to get the feedback on there. So we're looking into that <clears throat> that kind of stuff. Um, I have a question. Yes. Um, for Portland, was that the younger kids like hoop source or what is what so, what's the local one? About? Um, it was the whole the it was end of trails. So end of trails and hoop source are the two that we play in, but sometimes they combine. So. Um, and the trail said they're going to Idaho. Hoop Source did not say they're going to Idaho. So they're still doing some other things and haven't made their announcement yet. So, so for the younger kids, uh, we would wait for Hoop Source and whatever local, yeah, Hoop Source, they do Washington stuff and Oregon stuff. So we would wait to see what they're doing um, with their schedule. So it's, it's still waiting and seeing, but, um, you know, like I said, end of trails usually comes out first and everyone else follows suit, at least does something, makes some move. So they made their announcement two hours ago. It was about five, five tonight. So um, so we expect to hear something from Hoop Source this week, for sure. And I'll follow up with them <clears throat> so we know. They'll, they'll do something. Um, you know, they, I, I imagine that they'll do something. They're just trying to figure some things out like everyone else. Um, did I answer your question? That's good. Okay, good deal. Um, so to back up with the national tournaments that Magic teams will be playing in, there are protocols for traveling, protocols for hotel, protocols for flight, protocol for the tournament venues we're entering, protocols for everything we're doing, there's protocols, and all of this will be listed and posted and clearly um, understood um, by everyone before, before we go. Um, return to play. Currently, we're, we're still doing virtual stuff. Right now, I'm doing some small group and private stuff at my house. I have a basketball court in my backyard. It just kind of happened. Um, but we're doing that. Um, just, uh, but we're looking to move to get to a, in a park um, June 15th. So two weeks from tomorrow, we're looking to go to a park outside. And I say that um, if the gym opens, obviously we move to the gym, but we're at least going to go to a park because, um, again, Fit Republic did not make their announcement yesterday like they said they would to let us know, you know, how to plan. So they haven't made their announcement. They're still meeting. Um, I know their Oregon branch has opened up. Their California branch has opened up. So there's movement, but, you know, obviously states are different, so they just haven't done anything for Washington yet, they haven't announced it yet. So they're still trying to figure some things out. But for us as an organization, we'd like to move to parks in two weeks where we'd have um, small group trainings with teams, um, practices, 
um, no contact, kind of walkthroughs so they, you know, remind our players of the plays at least, um, do some uh, training where they're not sharing equipment, et cetera, you know, and as we move to the next phase, then maybe, you know, we can move to some five on five, no contact, still walking through. And then, you know, obviously after that, you know, full practices, but that's the phase. I just don't know the time frame between each phase, but we're going to move in that direction. And then obviously we'll adjust when the gym opens to going in the gym and then they will have their protocols that they, we will have to follow. <clears throat> Any questions about that? All right. So, um, age groups for the park, like the yeah. younger kids. Yeah. I want to get everyone in. Yeah, we'll get everyone. And there'll be small groups. And um, if I get the park we want, there's enough hoops um, where, where we can get everybody in and have that, um, you know, so they can see each other, their teammates, and still get the training and that connection. So, yeah. All age groups. Yep. Uh, Co Coach, where is that park located? That's the good, that's the question. That's the million dollar question. So I will find that park. I, ha I have a few leads. I know of some parks, but what I don't want to happen is for me to make this grand schedule and then we get there and someone says we can't be there. So I have to do some leg work this week, do some leg work this week to make sure we're good to go. And then um, uh, I will let you know. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so summer opportunities. Um, and this is part of some of our new announcements. You know, um, this this whole thing has, you know, it's been a bad thing, obviously. You know, this is a horrible thing. Our, you know, kids will read about this in years to come, but but what it's done for magic, it's it's kind of really slowed some things down and really helped us figure out how to really improve on certain systems and, and teams and processes. And and so these summer opportunities that that we're going to move toward. It just provides something for everybody. Now, we know that there'll be people that are interested in getting back on the court with obviously certain guidelines. And then there's gonna be some people that are not comfortable getting back on the court. So we're gonna provide something for everyone. So we're gonna continue with the virtual training and we'll have a summer program all laid out. Um, so you'll have an opportunity to do virtual training still. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do the in-person training, private or small group. Um, virtual camps and clinics, in person or virtual, and then we'll have uh, continue with the daily workouts. But it's going to be more of a customized approach. Um, a lot of the video that I've been doing, um, we've been building content and making our own libraries um, because it, it seems to be helpful if people, if our players see us telling them, you know, how to do certain things. So that's kind of been a great opportunity you know, in all of this, that we're able to kind of build some content and start a little library and there'll be some on-demand live streaming apps, options, so the kids can kind of still connect with um, the coaches and the trainers at Magic. Um, we'll, we'll offer travel opportunities for teams that want to travel, players that want to travel, and then we'll offer the virtual tournament opportunities. So essentially, we're, we're, we're trying to just move forward and then provide something for everyone via virtually or in person. And then we'll follow up with tonight's meeting with a survey because we really want to know what kind of rosters we have. You know, if we decide to move forward in July, what does that look like for you, provided we have this, this, and that? And, you know, we're, we just want to know so we can know how to move forward and make sure our teams are supported and our players are supported. But um, that's, that's, that's the direction we're going, and um, we're excited about it. Um, let's see. Any questions about that? No? Great, great. So um, all the gear is in. Um, if you ordered through BSAN, BSN, that's in. If you ordered fan cloth, that's in. Um, if you ordered a mask, two of the orders have come in. So, um, I think we ordered three total so far. So um, happy to do ports pickups or just send me a text. I just need a little notice. Sometimes I run to the store, 
sometimes I go do this, but for the most part, I'm home or somebody's home and, and I have all the gear here just <laughs> in our living room. So um, happy to, you know, if you, if you want to come by and pick it up, um, that would be great. And that's all that's on my list today. Any questions? Other than I have a question. Sure. Should I thank you privately about uh, maybe possibly getting Emily in to come work with you at the hoop? She needs to get to a hoop. Oh, Her ball yeah. handling is pretty good. Yeah, everyone's ball handling should be good, actually. Everybody should be good. If, like, they're, doing, if they're doing what we're doing, everybody's ball handling should be good but yes it's uh i have a right right yeah so yeah i'll i'll um i'll shoot you some options offline so okay sounds good yeah. thank you you're welcome anybody else all right okay well i appreciate you jumping on um if something comes up and you think of something tonight, shoot me a message, give me a call, happy to answer it. But otherwise, um, we'll see you next week, hopefully with some information about all the announcements that's supposed to come out this week. So, all right guys, have a great night. Thank you coach. All right.